Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now let me ask you a question. In and around your house, you see many animals, right? In Korea, we see dogs and birds and certain squirrels and pigeons and cats. But have you ever seen a water animal near your house? Maybe a seal or a fish? Probably not, right? But that's actually what happened to some people in California where a baby seal was found in the front yard next to their house, right? So a baby seal, which is this animal right here, nicknamed Ozzy, it's not his real name, it's just the nickname, something we give to a close friend or a pet, was found four miles or about 6.4 kilometers from the water in a resident's yard. So it was that far away from the water in somebody's yard, in their house. Well, the grass next to their house. According to Fremont, California authorities, to the, the police said this. When rescuers saved the nine-month-old female northern fur seal, they saved it or they rescued it, it had no visible signs of injury. No signs of injury means it wasn't hurt. And visible means we can't see anything that's hurt. We're checking with our eyes. Maybe it's hurt inside, but on the outside, there's no visible injury where they're hurt. But they took it to the Marine Mammal Center, the Water Animal Center, shortly thereafter for further or more examination or tests. The seal has lost its way before. So this is actually the second time they rescued or save this seal. It was found malnourished, meaning it didn't eat, it was very skinny and it didn't have its vitamins and it was very sick, in November 2015 at New Brighton State Beach. The seal underwent treatment, they took care of it, they gave it food, and released in Bodega Bay, which is 100 miles or 160 kilometers north of where the seal was most res recently rescued. So this is where we just rescued the seal most recently and before they released it in Bodega Bay, which is north, right? So the seal before we released it and it went south, right? It was going the wrong way because Alaska is to the north, we have to go up. The seal should have swum in the direction of Alaska, but the seal got lost. He didn't know where to go. He was alone probably and wrongly or in an incorrect way headed or went south. So he went south, right, which was the wrong way. He needed to go not south, but he needed to go north up to Alaska. All right, so he's a very lucky seal. They found him two times. So we have three review questions here. First one, A, who is Ozzy? It is a nine-month-old female girl, northern fur seal, who has lost its way and was blank twice. So lost its way means he doesn't know where to go. Do I go this way? He doesn't know, right? And was uh, found by people twice, two times, right? They found him, they rescued him, they let him survive, they gave him food, and another way to say that is to save. Sort of like a superhero, like Superman, he saves people, right? People are dying, help me, Superman! And then Superman saves them and then he puts them on the floor and they're okay after that. So that's what they did. These people, uh, this seal was about to die and they saved him, they rescued him. B, where did the rescuers take Ozzy? The seal, this seal here, Ozzy, was taken to the Marine Mammal Center for further blank. So marine is talking about water animals, ocean, I mean, just talking about the ocean, sorry. Marine is talking about the ocean, and mammals is talking about the type of animals that have live babies and usually have fur, and center is a sort of an institution or a building, right? So it's where they study water animals for further blank. So they take them to this place and this place they have many machines for checking the animals. They have x-ray machines, they have medicines, they have tools, 
right? So they use all these things to, to check if the seal is okay and to check and to really uh, see what's wrong with them, we say it is to examine or they go for an examination. So if your teeth is hurting, it really hurts, where do you go for an examination? Do you go to the candy store? No, you go to the dentist, right, where they fix your teeth. So the dentist examines or checks your teeth. C. Why was Ozzy found in California? Right? It's in the wrong place. This is the wrong place for him to be. It headed south blank when it should have swam in the direction of Alaska. So swimming in the direction, in the way of Alaska north, that is the right way. And going south, that is the incorrect way, not correct. It is the wrong way. So wrongly is to say we do it in a wrong way. So I do my hair wrongly. That means I cut it and I did many mistakes, right? It's not the right way, it's the wrong way, okay? We have three key terms we're going to practice here. First one, a baby seal, blank, Ozzy, was found four miles or 6.4 kilometers from the water, very, very far away from the water, in a residence or person's house, according to Fremont, California authorities. So the reason we put this name in this little two quotation marks, we call them, is because that's not the animal's real name. It's just when the rescuers, the people that found him, they wanted to call him something, they're not going to call him you know, A or hey B, they're going to give him sort of a, a, a name and a friendly name that we give to people is called a nickname. So for example, the very famous gag man, Yu Jesuk, his nickname is Grasshopper or Mekdugi, right? B, when rescuers saved the nine month old female girl, northern fur seal, it had no visible signs of so visible means something that we can see with our eyes right just on the outside and signs of blank so why are they looking at the seal they want to see is the seal hurt is it sick is there something broken is there something that you know is injured so that's the word here injury so when you get an injury you are not healthy when you are when you fall down you get an injury ow it hurts right if somebody hits you then ow you have an injury something that hurts makes you say ow c the sh seal should have swum in the direction of alaska but the seal got lost and wrongly right in a wrong way blank south so in a wrong way did he fly south did he swim south? Yes, he went south, right? So another way to say you're going somewhere will be to say head, headed. Now we know head as our body part head, right? And when we think about headed, we think about a soccer where we headed with the ball, right? But we're not talking about our head. We're not talking about our body. We're talking about where we are going. So if we are going to school, we are heading to school. We're not hitting the school with our head. Hey, I'm hitting it. We are going to school. If we are going to the library, then we are heading to the library. All right? So next time, if you see an animal that's in pain or in trouble, make sure you know where to take it, right? You have to take it to somebody that, you know, knows something about it, right? All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Beating Town. I'll see you next time.